Hi everyone, welcome back to Tried and Tested. I'm Shu An, and today I'm very excited because our topic is DIY manicure techniques that are supposed to make your nails look really pretty and supposed to be quite easy to do. So we'll see whether it's true. Now we're going to try the water marble nails, and they're supposed to look like this. Now it looks really pretty, right? And also looks very complicated, right? So today I'm going to try and let you know if it's really easy or not because if I can do it, chances are you can also probably do it. So first we need a glass of water, all the nail polish colours that you want, sati sticks and lotion. Now in a lot of the videos, they use scotch tape to like line the side of the nails, like here. You put the masking tape so that the paint doesn't get onto anywhere else. But apparently if you use lotion, what it does is when the lotion goes into the water, it repels the water. So we'll see whether that works as well. Okay, first we start with the lotion. So first you pat it around. You know, I think this is the most moisturised my hand has been for a while. <laughs> Okay, so, so today we're going with these colours because I think they're quite cute. And tip of the day, leave the caps open so you don't even have to keep opening, closing, opening, closing. And get huge dollops on it, okay? And work fast because this nail polish, for some reason, dries really fast on the surface. It doesn't do that in the videos. They bluff! Okay, ready? Let's go! One. Come on, come on, come on. Come on! Two. Okay, see? When it does that, right? It doesn't really spare, you can tap it a little bit. Then we use this stick and spread it out. Oh, you see? The outer film is like drying already. Okay, then you stick your whole finger in. So what happens is the film separates. Then you take this and just grab it up. So now I'm going to try and clean away the sides. I use a Q-tip and some nail polish remover. And dip this in, wipe it off. I'm going to use this satay stick to clean off like the edge. Ah, you see, just now when I use the moisturiser, now my nail polish is not sticking on my finger, which is great. Ah, okay. It's quite pretty. But okay, I warn you, the first few times are really very, very frustrating. Oh no, you see? See what happens when you do it too slow? It'll dry already. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! What is this? It's so fail! I just try a few times and once you get the hang of it, it's actually quite easy. Huh, it's actually really quite easy and it looks quite good. Yeah, I'm going to like this more and more. This is very weird. <laughs> like the more I look at it, the more proud I am of it. Okay, so the verdict on this bottom marble nail art is... I think it's a 7. Because now that I've gotten a bit more of a hang of it, I don't mind but... Can you imagine doing this 10 times on 10 nails? But the effect is really quite pretty. Okay, I have here with me the Cornet Stamping Kit. This is the special Cornet nail polish. I think it's like a thick consistency that you apply onto the plates. And this is a bit of an extra. It's sort of like a holder. And then you use this to clean. Now, after you use this, your nails are supposed to look like this. I will start with this plate. This put on here. Soak this with an adequate amount of nail polish remover. And I shall try with my black colour. Take out my stamping kit. Okay, let's go. Apply a thick layer over it. Scrape it off. 45 degree angle, remember. And then pick it up. <laughs> okay, so after each stamp, you need to clean it so that it doesn't transfer. So I'm going to use this and clean off the scraper. And this thing, right, after you clean it off on this, you take the tape and stick off the excess nail polish remover. And then I use my tweezers and pick up this and clean off. So since I put it on the wrong nail, I'm going to try again and put it on the green nail. Okay, let's try. Isn't that cute? Isn't that adorable? Oh my god, am I speaking like a baby? So irritating. I 
It's so cute! <laughs> Overall, I'm very happy with this. I would totally get more plates because you can play with colours underneath, you can like different layers on your nails. It's great! And you don't even go to the manicure shop. <laughs> so this would be an 8. So now after exploring all these interesting DIY manicure techniques, what we have here are some accessories and tools that I found. So first, we have... The claw. What you do with this, right, is you can put your nail like it. See? Doesn't fit. Look at that! Perfect! You can do your nails here, and then you take it out, like all your intricate nail art, right, that you don't do on your own fingers, and you want to use fake nails, and you take it out when you're done, and then you transform into your own nail. All done. So you save yourself a bit of hassle. Like the marble nails, you can stick this on a stick and then do the marble nails and then put it on so your whole finger doesn't get marbled. Okay, next we have the nail protection tool. Now this is great because you know, every time you paint your nails, it takes forever to dry and then you sit in a dryer or like if you want to do things, it's really hard. Well, let's see whether it really protects your nails. This is quite cute. Oh, look at that. Okay, so this goes here, like that, right? And then you move this down to like cover your nail. It, don't go too far down, otherwise it hits the nail and kind of defeats the purpose. But once it's right there, right, you see, it's like the dog chasing his tail. The distance is always the same. No matter how far I reach my finger, I was not going to touch that. <laughs> but you see, uh, I think if I want to pick up things, it's pretty good. But if I want to go into my bag to look for stuff, this is going to flip up. So it doesn't protect it that way, but it does protect against like accidental knocks. Yeah, it does. This is how you look with all 10 on. It's a bit silly, doesn't it? But you know, it protects your nails. Last on the list, we have the finger protector. So this is for after your nail polish dries and you're doing housework, you know, and you don't want your nail polish to chip, which it often does. Then you use this. This is... <laughs> it smells like rubber glove. Which basically is like... That's what it is. It's a rubber glove. It's like a finger condom. It's missing one! Oh no! <laughs> I have 10 fingers. Why you give me only 8? Okay, so it looks like it's missing one on each hand. But if you look at the packet, it actually only says... 4 tong 4 ta. So, four medium and four big. So, I think I know why I already know. Maybe it's four because you can do that. Because your little finger can, you know, siam out of the way. Okay, so for this one, I give it a five. Because it makes sense, but not all of the nails that you buy fit. This one, I would give a seven or an eight. Because it's practical, it's got practical use and if you're around the house and you're not really doing much but you don't want to like knock it against the chair or something, it makes perfect sense. This one, I give a two. Just use a glove. Use gloves, they make so much more sense. Okay, so we've come to the end of the episode. I hope you learned something, I hope you had fun with me. Go and try all those things, they're actually a lot of fun and just the first few times a bit tough. And thank you all for your wonderful comments, I feel the love. Love you back! And also, if you guys need more information about the products, like where to get them, how much they are, go to our Facebook page and all the information is there. And also, you can leave comments about what products you want me to try. So join us there, and yeah, thank you for watching Tried and Tested. See you next time!